There's so many of our wines that work really great in cocktails, and uh, this one is one of my favorite. This is one you should definitely try at home for Valentine's Day. Uh, this is called A Pair of Hearts, and there's a couple of really key things about this cocktail that make it so delicious. One of them is, of course, our ice wine. The other is pear vodka, and the last one is a sugar rim. And I'm gonna give you a couple secrets about how to do a great sugar rim. First of all, you wanna give a good coating of lemon juice to the rim. You can also use a little bit of simple syrup, which will help really stick that sugar on. And then use super fine sugar, which is a little bit lighter weight than granulated sugar. And it just sticks to the edge of that glass and gives you a nice sugar coating. So to start out with, we are going to take our pear vodka. This is Grey Goose Poir. There's lots of pear vodkas that you can use in this drink. Um, but this one in particular I really love because it has a really great strong pear flavor to it. And we're going to put five ounces of that into our shaker. Next is our ice wine. And what the ice wine brings to this drink in particular is, uh, is a really wonderful sweet succulent flavor. So we'll add that next. And then our final ingredient is lemon juice. This is what's gonna give it that nice zippy acidity. And we'll shake that up with some ice. Now give it a really good shake. And pour it in. And again, this makes two, so Save the other half for your sweetie. Now for your garnish, there's lots of ways you can go. You can go really simple by doing a lemon twist. Best way to do that is to just cut a lemon peel into a nice long strip like that and give it a little squeeze before you drop it in. Or if you want to get really fancy, cut a little heart into your lemon peel and set that on top, which will give you a really pretty Valentine's Day themed cocktail. But you don't even have to do that. Like when it comes to garnishes, have fun. Go out, hack your garden, look around your kitchen, find those fun things that will give those drinks a really interesting twist. One of my favorites is to use flowers. So find your Valentine's Day bouquet and dig around and pull out a petal and voila, give it a beautiful finishing touch. Happy Valentine's Day from us at Cooper's Hawk. Cheers. <laughs>